Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I am here to bring you another Thrifty Thursday Thrifted Treasure Haul. I got this past week at a favorite um, haunt of mine, one of the antique malls close to us. And um, I just got a few things, but I thought I'd hop on here and share them with you. Thrifty Thursday is brought to you by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. And I do apologize to Sherry. I have been mispronouncing her name. I have been saying Cherie because I thought that's how it looked in the spelling and I didn't catch it in her video. So I apologize. It is Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and Thrifted Treasures is brought to you by Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. And if you follow either one of those hashtags, Thrifty Thursday or Thrifted Treasures, you'll see all of the content creators that are following along on that hashtag and posting videos about their thrifty finds. And it's so fun to watch and see what other people have gotten. I watched one of Dale's um, videos this morning and boy, she had a, a wonderful haul. She said she had gone on a, a trip and had done some thrifting and she brought back some amazing things. And it was really fun to watch because she had things in her haul that I would have never thought to look for for crafting and I learned a lot so it can show you what other people look for what they use it for and while you're out and about you know different things to kind of open up your horizons a little bit and, and look for some different things as well so we'll get started the first thing I found is this package of doilies and there are four of them and they were $3.95 for the four which I thought was not bad. There's a sweet little one. And then this pretty one. I love the delicate crocheted doilies. They are so pretty. And this color is really lovely too. That'll look really nice in a vintage or an antique project. And then this last one I just love. That one is so beautiful. Look at how intricate and delicate it is. So that was my first find. Oh, I've got the sun coming in through my blinds. I can't get rid of all of that, so I apologize. Then we have another doily that I found, and this one was a dollar fifty, and it had a little bit of staining on it. But I figured for the price, I was going to cut it up anyway to use the little rounds for flowers and collaging and things. So. If it doesn't come out in the laundry, that's okay. I will just cut around that and and still be able to use part of it. Like on this one, you could still use this little center piece. And over here, you could get most of this, not just, just lose the outer ring. Then you've got all the little um, attachments there. So I think that was a, a decent find. And then I found these um, Battenberg style doilies. And I thought they were really pretty. These were a dollar fifty a piece. And I thought on these, if you couldn't use the whole thing in one project, that they could be taken apart as well. Use that centerpiece for one. You could cut along here and have some little scallops to use for different things. So that was a nice find. I like that. And the next one was a bag of things and it had a scarf, a tablecloth, and two hankies in it. And it was $4 for the batch. And the tablecloth, I didn't open it up in the bag to look because I was in the store and I didn't want to rummage through it. But after I got it out, I realized I probably should have because a few pieces have quite a bit of staining, but we can work around that. But the tablecloth was really nice. I thought that was beautiful. Has a lot of beautiful embroidery. This little corner piece could be cut in a square and made into a little fabric envelope or a long piece like that, rectangular, and used as a clutch maybe. And all these little pieces around here could be cut out or this whole thing this front could be put on a pillow, make a pillow and put that on there and do some ruffling around that and put a pretty, maybe collage a pretty doily and lace collage in the center of the pillow. 
So I could see a lot of uses for that one. I think that's going to be really nice. And then the other pieces were a little iffy, but I think we can still use some of them. They were claiming that this one is a scarf, but it looked like it never got finished and it is full of stains. So a lot of staining up there and some here, but um, this again on this end, this is really nice. It cut that down the long way and fold it over and make a cute little pocket. So around the edges, put some lace around that and that would be an adorable little pocket. And you could do some lace collaging over the pieces that weren't embroidered yet. And then this could be cut out and something done with. And then this one on the end is in pretty good tact. So I think something pretty could be done with that as well. So that wasn't too bad. And it may come out in the wash, you never know. And then the hankies were a little rough. So those will have to be used in bits and pieces. There is a big hole in this one. But no staining, so I think the rest of it could be used. It's so soft. I love those vintage hankies. And then this blue one had quite a bit of staining on it. It was in rough shape. I'm kind of surprised that they included that in there, but we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. The corners can be used for maybe pocket in a journal or, or cut out the little roses individually and do some collaging with that. So if that one doesn't launder up very nice, there's still hope for part of it. And then lastly, I got these clips and the hair clips. I thought that they would be good for using um, maybe when we make clutches and we have all the lace and everything and we don't want to mash it down with a tie that could be slipped over the edge and used for a closure on a book, book maybe, or a clutch, or even like if you do a glassine bag or something. You could put that as the closure, fold the top over and clip it with that. So I thought those were nice. They were $1.99 for the two pieces in the rhinestone. And then the pearl one was $1.99 itself. And that is just a hair clip. It's not a squeezy one, a, cl a clamping one, squeezy one. How's that for English? So it, it would just slide on, but I think that's fine. And over here you could... Put a little silk flower or a rhinestone or or do something to embellish that little end as well so it would be pretty so that is my finds for this week i hope you enjoy them i always enjoy one hunting for them and two sharing them with you and i have so enjoyed following along the hashtags and seeing what other creators are doing it's been really fun so i appreciate each and every one of you your likes your comments your um hitting the subscribe button that just means the world to me and it's helping my channel grow i've gained a few new subscribers this past week again and i can't appreciate that enough and i welcome you all and i just want to wish you all a blessed rest of your week and again thank you so very much for watching we'll see you in the next video guys bye